It's Professor Dave. Let's look at some word problems. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. Algebra brings us our first example of how math can be applied in abstract ways to solve real-world problems. A good way to demonstrate this is by constructing algebraic equations that are meant to give us a solution to a question we might have about a person or any number of things. Take the following example. There are two sisters, Sally and Gabby. Sally is three years younger than twice the age of Gabby. If Gabby is 12, how old is Sally? Let's find an equation that can describe this scenario. The first thing we have to do is assign some variables. What do we know and what do we want to know? Well, there's Gabby's age, let's call that G. Then there's Sally's age, let's call that S. How are these two values related? Well, we know something about S. We know that it is three less than twice G. This means that S equals 2G minus 3. This equation says exactly the same thing as this sentence, just with symbols instead of words. Now we have a very simple equation to solve. We just plug in 12 for G, since that is Gabby's age, double it, and subtract 3. Sally must be 21. That was an easy one because we didn't have to do any algebraic manipulation. We just plugged in a number and evaluated. What about something a little harder? Say there are three brothers, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Their ages are consecutive multiples of three, and the sum of their ages is 36. How old are they? Here we start to see the benefit of constructing an equation, because while it is certainly possible to just guess and check, once a problem gets sufficiently complex, solving an equation becomes much easier than guessing the answer. Let's say the youngest brother has an age equal to X. What would be the other two ages in terms of X? Well, if the ages are consecutive multiples of three, and each multiple is three more than the last, then the other two ages must be X plus three and X plus three plus three, or X plus six. Then it says that the sum is 36. Sum means we add them up, so X plus X plus three plus X plus six equals 36. Now all we have to do is simplify. Three X's make three X, and three plus six is nine. Now we have three X plus nine equals 36. Subtract nine from both sides to get 27. Divide both sides by three, and we get X equals nine. Since X is the age of the youngest, the ages of the brothers are nine, 12, and 15. Let's try one more. Rover and Jasper are dogs, and they each have spots. Jasper has six more spots than Rover does, and twice the number of Rover's spots, plus three times the number of Jasper's spots, equals 68. How many spots do they have? Well, first, let's assign the variables. Rover's spots are represented by R, and Jasper's by J. How do these variables relate to one another? Well, if Jasper has six more spots than Rover, then J equals R plus six. Then we have this other bit of information, whereby 2R plus 3J equals 68. What can we do from here? Well, if J equals R plus six, we can put R plus six in this other equation instead of J, because they are equivalent. This term has to go inside parentheses, and we can immediately distribute this three. That gives us 2R plus 3R plus 18. We can combine the R's to get 5R, subtract 18 from both sides to get 50, and then divide everything by 5 to get R equals 10. If R is 10, then J is 16, and that's all the spots. So we can see that in these scenarios, we just have to decide on some variables and construct whatever equations we can from the information we have. That's the trickier part, because it requires some abstract thought. Once we've done that, solving them is the easy part, as that will be the same old math every time. I think you've got the hang of it, so let's check comprehension.
Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com. Thank you.